So today we're going to learn about uh, a basic uh, f function of Python called a comment. So a comment is used essentially to describe an action or maybe several actions and also to m maybe stop us from using certain code when we don't want to use it or to, 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 to make code unavailable uh, in, in a file, but if we want to edit the file and make it available, we only have to make one small change or a couple small changes and we can use that large amount of code. So if that doesn't make sense right now, but it will as I go on to explain it. So what do I mean by a comment can be used in order to explain what we're doing? Well, imagine that I put uh, out the command print 77, right? Now, if you've done the basics of data types, you'll know that that 77 is not the number 77. So what we are doing here is we are printing a string called of, of, six, of 77. And here, if I put a hashtag, which I've actually done in several other videos, this starts what is known as a single line comment. A single line comment is a comment that can be applied to a single line and anything within that comment will not be registered by the running of this code. It won't be run as code. It'll just be ignored by the machine when this line of code is run. So here I will explain here the print function has been called comma and given the value of 77 as a string, right? No problem with that. Now, if I try to run here, print 77 as a string, it'll print 77. That is, of course, a string and not the number 77. If I try to run this where the hashtag is and beyond, nothing happens on its own. This is because it's ignored by the machine. If I run both of these, both of these together on the same line. This isn't run, although it's registered as existing by the machine, it isn't actually run. And the 77 is printed out. I can prove that this hasn't run because if I put, if I, if I copy and paste this text here without the hashtag and put it on the next line and try to run it, you see how there's all these kind of colors and things going on? This will lead to some kind of error, or possibly several errors, really. And here we go, invalid syntax straight away. So this shows that this cannot be printed. This, this cannot be run on its own because it's invalid syntax and it's erroneous. It's an erroneous line, which also shows that the hashtag stops it from running. I can prove this again by trying to use a print statement with the hashtag. We'll print... 77 nothing nothing happens because of the hashtag so the hashtag is what makes this unusable and it allows us to as i say comment on something we've done and explain it to ourselves or perhaps other people who might be interested in it now let's say that i want to I don't know, maybe make several lines of code. Maybe I want to have a variable. Jerry is 7. Tom is 77. Daniel is 87. And then variable uh, total underscore age is equal to Jerry plus seven Jerry plus Tom plus Daniel okay this is quite a big bunch of variables really so I'm gonna I'm gonna execute all that make sure that our code's correct print total age should be a hundred and something not sure exactly what it'll be. 171, right? Let's say I want to do a few comments here. This assigns value 7 
as an int to variable Jerry Oops. Jerry this assigns value of 77 as an int to variable and uh, Tom sorry not Daniel getting ahead of myself there this assigns value of 87 as an int to variable Daniel okay this oh this totals the ages of Daniel Tom and Jerry this prints the total ages of Daniel Tom and Jerry now I will prove that these comments will have no effect by doing exactly what I did before and I have the same result 171 so the comments are acknowledged but they have no effect on what actually happens uh, within the program let's say now that I actually uh, there's two ways of doing the total age depending on how I feel I can either put total age is equal to 171 which is the default if Jerry is 7 Tom is 77 and Daniel is 87 rather than having to do this complicated maths if all the defaults are assumed to be correct the total age is 171 and I just want to print out that total age I don't want to print out all of this if the ages that we assume are correct but if they're not I'd like to well what I can do is what's called a multiple line comment and this is actually a comment that is ver viable on several lines so if I put three quotation marks at the start of my multiple line comment and three quotation marks at the end all of the stuff in here is now not read by the machine rather than doing this on one single line with a single line comment I've I've been able to do it on several lines I don't actually need to delete these hashtags I'm just doing it so that you can see the difference between the comment and now if I try and run run these nothing happens nothing happens it just prints out these ends just show a new line statement that's all that they're showing there they're just showing how this would process this as a string but it doesn't it doesn't actually do anything yeah in fact we'll make a print statement we'll print here total age and this won't run nothing will happen see that it's just printing out new lines nothing else happens the total age isn't printed out however if I print these two out because they're not commented out I get the total age of 171 as the way I've calculated it but if I decide for some reason that actually you know I've decided that Jerry's now 92 and Tom is now 107 well the defaults have now changed and so we can't use this default total age of 171 we have to use this calculation all I have to do is get rid of the three quotation marks at the start and the three quotation marks at the end and this information is now usable again and it comes to 286 and that is the purpose or can be the purpose of a multiple line comment so comments can be used both to uh, give meaning to something that's been done or an explanation of something that's been done maybe a line maybe could be several lines that you're explaining and they can also be used to kind of block out a piece of code for example this code won't run and let's say that I'm not sure if I want it to run before I start the program up it doesn't run yeah it doesn't run because it's a comment so here if I try and run this oh nothing nothing get rid of the hashtag and it prints 99 for me yeah and it's as simple as that if you look as well above here 
this is a multi-line comment and it gives me the creation date of this Python file. It gives me the author, which is myself, Yusuf Quinlan, and it gives me the type of encoding that it's run on. And sing this is a single line here, and that's a multiple line. So that's pretty much all there is to it. It's just used, yeah, as I say, to essentially kind of demonstrate what you're doing. It's, it's there to not be run, but to be seen whilst you're editing a file or looking at a file to either give explanations or block out code that you aren't sure that you need to run or aren't sure if it's appropriate to run. And yeah, that's pretty much it.